For the 40-some years I've been an art critic, I've pretended to lecture. I don't understand lectures, um, maybe because I'm a college dropout. I mean, I have a high school diploma, and that's my highest academic achievement. And I think I slept through most of the classes I attended. So uh, good artists tend to be bad students and vice versa. What is it? What is a university class? Uh, it's like the professor sets up a ladder and everyone in the class competes to be first at the top. And that's a problem when you're talking about art. And, and my function as a hopelessly older person, um, older by the minute, my function is to show up once a week and throw red meat through the bars of their cage. Okay, just like, of course, there's, there's two people in the front row, you know, smart as, smart as hell. Everybody knows they're going nowhere, right? Uh, then there's somebody in the back, there's somebody in the back row with the hangover and the, and the traffic love affair who doesn't say anything. And everybody in the class knows this person has got it. Gang theory. What is the natural educational formation of creative people? It's the gang. What is a gang? A gang is a group of people, each of whom has felt alone in the universe and a misfit and wanders out to the edge and discover, they discover each other. In a gang, everybody knows who's best. Okay? Everybody, you don't have to say it, right? you just know it. Who's the alpha? Okay? Everybody knows who's second best, who's the beta. Sometimes a rival of the alpha, sometimes a sidekick, you know, anyway. Uh, it's unclear who's third best. Everybody else thinks maybe it's them, okay? except for one person who is absolutely hopeless, but as a mascot and scapegoat is the most important person in the gang. The Salminio role, right? You know, it's like, you know, Sammy, you can't paint, okay? But, you know, but he's, uh, he's crucial. Now, if all they have in common is that common alienation, they can be very dangerous, you know, call the police, okay? But if, if they have an aspiration in common, nothing can be more creative. I don't believe in the existence of beautiful things. I believe in experiences of beauty. I think it's a regular occurrence in the uh, mental economy of anyone who is not clinically depressed. I mean, maybe clinical depression could be defined as no beauty ever. We don't necessarily get it from art. I mean, only, it, it, you don't go to, it, I'm saying everybody, you know, it's like, you know, the, the action, the shootout scene in the movie, the, the, Sunrise, the moonrise over uh, Walmart, you know, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, beauty to me is, is a sense, is, is a desire that something be as it is forever without change. That it, it be exactly as it is at this moment and never be violated, especially by oneself. Think about it tomorrow, walking down the street, you know, if you're not totally depressed, you'll have little moments of like, you know, something. Just right. Something. Yes, that's right. That's right. Stay. Stay. No, don't break that. Anyway.